Okay, hi, um, my name is Asim Jaswaja. I'm an associate professor at Kennedy School. Uh, we just talked about uh, some of the work I've done in disaster relief. Uh, this was basically setting up a website called RISEPAC, uh, R-I-S-E-P-A-K. Uh, and the idea of the tool essentially was to coordinate disaster relief during times of disaster. So it was a very simple idea, which is have a web-based portal where you have information on every single village which is affected in the earthquake. So things like how many people live there, how far it is from a main road. Overlay all of this on a map so that it's easier for people to see where to go. Uh, and then essentially allow people, NGOs, individuals, communities, international organizations, the ability to not only access this information, but also update it. So when they go to a village with 500 blankets or 20 boxes of medicine, they can actually put that on the website. Everyone else can see it. And you know that this village now has received help, and so you move on to the next village. So sort of coordinating and making sure everyone gets sort of relief. Uh, and that was the idea for this. My sense on this project was that it was a bit too late, in the sense that we uh, this was an afterthought once the event occurred. Uh, so we set up, we were able to set up the website only like 10 days after the event. And the initial value of, I think, these coordination devices in the first few minutes after the event. And so my idea would be that the way to take this forward, and I've sort of been trying to talk to people about this as well, is essentially have the whole world uh, literally the entire world on a, on a global database, a uh, georeference database. And I don't think this is that hard to do, but we did some back-of-the-envelope calculations. Uh, it's a few hundred million dollars, but you can literally digitize the entire world. Uh, and then what happens is anytime a disaster hits anywhere in the world, in that instant, basically, that part of the world goes live. Anyone can see where the disaster hit. If it's an earthquake, you can see the epicenter of the earthquake. You can see this on maps. So you can see what the population densities in the areas around it are. And then you can start using that as a means of coordinating disaster. I think this is just a basic framework, but then you could add more and more layers to this uh, as the problem gets more and more complicated. Yeah.